All right, so today I just wanted to show you how to quickly configure a web page redirect to uh, an external website using S3. So I'll show you what I have, and then I show you I'll show you what we're going to do. So this is my bucket called DJStackTrace.com, and currently in there I have an index.html, an index JavaScript cascading style sheet, some images, and if we load that in another workspace or a container workspace in Firefox you'll see where it goes. And these are all the elements of the website, just a couple of tracks, of contact information, images, that's about it. And that's all these files that you're looking at right here. So let's say I want to temporarily or even permanently abandon this website and just redirect the highlevel.com to another website. Uh, this is how I would do it, and Amazon provides some good documentation on this. So if your Amazon S3 bucket is configured for website hosting, so that's key, you have to have it configured for website hosting, you can configure a web page redirect. You have the following options, and what we're going to do is we're not redirecting to like page 1.html or some other page. What we're going to do is uh, set the value to an external URL. So this is how we do it. Um, we open up the console, we've already got it open. In the buckets, choose your bucket, we've already got the bucket chosen. Under objects, select your object. So this is the first uh, component. The object we want to change is index.html. So we have that object right there. And then we are going to, under actions, check, uh, select edit metadata. So object actions, edit metadata. You can see the current metadata is system defined content type text slash HTML. This is the current state. But what we're going to do is add metadata. So that's step five. Uh, sorry, step six. And under type, we're going to choose system defined. And the key is going to be XAMZ website redirect location. So XAMZ website redirect location, and simply we put in the new value. So it will be https colon slash slash www.twitch.tv slash dj stacktrace I want when people go to uh, dj stacktrace.com I want them to go to my twitch site so once I have that in there I click edit metadata you can see it successfully edited the metadata and then I simply close this and now if I refresh this page it will probably actually it might grab the uh, the no, okay, it, it did not grab the cache value, so it took us to the new site. Now, if I go back here, a key thing to remember, let's say, so now that I have it redirecting to Twitch, um, let's say I don't want to do that anymore. I go to Object Actions, Edit Metadata, I remove the System Defined key, Edit Metadata, get the green uh, successful notification, click close, and then you might think that um, I could go there again and look at look at here, it's still redirecting, redirecting me to Twitch, and this is because it's a cache thing. So what you need to do in this case, in Firefox I have containers, and I'm going to open a new container, so this is basically a fresh start here, and as soon as I open this one, Ah, it had, sorry, this is the wrong container that I chose. I need to choose a different container that I've never opened this site in before. And now we're back to the original site. So the issue was the previous container I had used uh, prior to recording this video, I had already loaded, so it was pulling cache as well. So it'd be really easy to think that it's not working because your browser is still pulling the old value, so be careful with that. But I'm just going to go back in and reset that. So uh, again, choose index.html, choose object actions, edit metadata, add system defined metadata. The key is XAMZ website redirect. The value is the external site that you want to load. Twitch.tv slash DJ stack trace. Edit the metadata. Successful. Close. And then we could even test this again by opening yet another container. Open the site, and now it's going to Twitch. So that's how you do it. Um, website redirection in S3. 
Hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you use this. Let me know if you have any questions. And thanks for watching.